So I have had my BiPAP for a week now and I'm trying to get used to it. But one thing, one problem that I'm having is the mask. I thought that with me sleeping with my mouth closed that I would be fine with just the one covering my nasal. But um, the nasal pillows is what I, t what I got. Um, apparently, I've been opening my mouth, not realizing it, and Mikey feels like he's sleeping in the bed beside who? Darth Vader. Darth Vader. I have, <laughs> I have now been described as Darth Vader. That is what happens when I would open my mouth it caused the air to come out of my mouth and that was a problem so I'm still having bad readings not too terribly bad but it's still bad readings so I went today I didn't realize so this is good to know my insurance only covers one mask per year so I talked to the sleep doctor and they told me to call back the place that I got my BiPAP machine and that within 30 days you can exchange that so they were able to exchange that for me and even gave me um, my old mask back so I do have a backup now if I were to want to try to still use that one with a chin strap or something so I'm gonna show you my new mask hold on so because I'm a little claustrophobic I didn't want to go with a full mask but when I went in today she wanted me to try um, she said that she thought this was one that I could possibly be able to handle this is a brand new mask it's just come out it's a Philips Dreamwear Full face mask but unlike the ones that I tried on during my sleep study that came up over my f over my head like it would have come up over my nose this one doesn't even cover the nose it's just a little bit under your nose and then it comes up to the top of your head so you can turn back and forth during the night but um, yeah let's, let's just open. See what it looks like now it didn't come with these she let me keep these off of my other mask um, I just didn't like I'm gonna try that I don't know if it'll work or not because the air actually comes up through here so I don't know if I've got it pinched or anything it doesn't seem like it but I didn't like that touch in my face but this is pretty small to be a full face mask you can see it just barely comes this is where my nose goes and this over my face it's got magnets right here so it unsnaps and snaps pretty easily on both sides it's got the magnets um, and then my hose hooks right into here so there we go so it looks like a pretty a pretty comfy strap she did put it on me um, at the place that I picked it up and I had it on for probably a couple minutes and I was able to it was okay she turned some pressure on I really couldn't even feel the pressure of the air that was coming out until she actually out um, until I went to pull it off and then I realized oh wait a minute there's pressure there's air coming out of there so that was when I felt it but it's really quiet, so hopefully Mikey won't feel like he's sleeping with Darth Vader now. But yeah, we're going to give it a try. Hold on, and I'll put it on and give you a look at what it looks so like. So this is my mask hooked in, and this is actually going to be on top of my head. But this kind of goes over my mouth. And then I've got these that come in. You can see my nose is not covered, it just sits below it. And now instead of a snuffleupagus coming out of here, I'm a Britney Spears ponytail. <laughs> but, yeah. Am I right? <laughs> I 
We'll see how it works. I don't know. It's kind of, uh, I'm going to try it tonight and see how it works. I'll let you know in the morning how much sleep I got. <laughs> Signing off. <laughs> Here I am, friends, 12 days in and on my third mask. Yep, you heard me. Third mask. Is that normal? I don't know. I'm new at this still, but I'm learning. So, I only lasted two nights with my um, Philips, the really cool mask that I just, in the video, um, reviewed. And I really was hoping that it would work because I liked the way it fit. It didn't like, cover over my nose, so I felt pretty comfortable with it being a full face mask. But the first night, my machine is set up so that it la it it gives me 20 minutes to go to sleep and then my full pressure would come well as soon as my full pressure would come oh my gosh it felt like somebody was blowing a backpack blower in my face and it was pulling from my face so it was I was miserable so I went about two and a half hours with that mask that night trying to I was up four times um, trying to fix it I even had Michael come and put it on me because I'm thinking well did I put it on wrong I um, had him put it on to make sure that I had it on right so then the next day, I called my respiratory therapist where I got my BiPAP machine, and she said, well, watch some videos. Well, I did find a couple of videos of a guy that reviews masks. He's great. Um, I liked all of his videos that I watched. Um, but he's, he's a sleep technician. So um, it's nice hearing his view on the masks, but he's not someone, I don't think he has sleep apnea. So... I'm hoping that this video might help people that have sleep apnea if you come across this video. Um, but, so he said to tighten it if you were having problems. So I tightened it and tried it the next night and I lasted like 38 minutes and I was done. I finally just ripped it off my face and threw it in the floor. So I called the respiratory therapist again the next day and she told me to just go back to my old mask, the nasal one that just has the pillows that go on my nose. Even though I'm open in my mouth, at least I could handle it all night for at least six hours. So um, she made me an appointment for this afternoon. So I went in today and she tried me, she asked me if I thought that I could go with a full mask that would go over my nose. Apparently I have these little chipmunk cheeks and a small chin. So maybe that was what was going on. So I'm hoping that when, as I lose weight that I may be able to go back to the smaller mask. but. For right now I'm gonna try this one so I thought that I would let you be with me as I unbox it and hook it up to my machine and we're gonna try this one and I'm praying that this works I'm getting so frustrated but trying to remain positive so here we go so this mask is a ResMed and that is what my machine is um, it's an AirFit F20 for her um, one thing that I didn't want to go with a full mask was when I went for my sleep study, they put a full mask on me, and it came up a, a it came up the bridge of my nose and to the top of my head, and I felt I'm very claustrophobic, so I felt very closed in. But when she put this one on me, I just kind of took myself out of my head, and this one doesn't come up my face. She said that most of the masks now don't have those stabilizers in them, so I'm hoping that this is going to work for me. But um, it's very quiet. She did put it on my machine um, and put it on my face. She fit it on my face while I was there, so I have had it on, um, and it seemed very quiet to me, so hopefully it will remain that quiet. So this one has like an elbow fitting. It's into my tube. thing I like about it is it's purple. Purple is my favorite color so that's kind of a positive. But this one it's very soft. It's got this silicone stuff around the face I guess. Um, but it's super soft and it does come up not all the way on the bridge of my nose but 
or like not up to my eyes I guess but I'll up, but it does come up my bridge of my nose it has the magnets like my other one did so these unhook so that's good it's easy to get out of um, one thing I liked about it is it has the hose goes right into here so she told me if I had to get up and go to the restroom or if I did feel kind of panicky if I woke up because that's been my problem I, I wake up and I feel like I can't breathe and then I get kind of panicky and I rip the mask off she told me don't rip the mask off just this hooks right into there and it has these two little snaps and it comes right off so if I get kind of panicky just take this off it gets it stops my airflow from going into my mask but I still have this hole that I can breathe through and try to you know calm myself down and go at it that way or if I have to go to the bathroom all I have to do is just unsnap that it's that easy it comes off that easy so I like that so yeah we'll try that um, but this comes up over my head but it doesn't and then this comes to the back of my head it's not it doesn't have the stabilizer that comes up here that goes between my eyes and then across my head so that made me feel a little more comfortable with this one so we're gonna give this one a try I'll put it on real quick and show you what it is what it looks like so there you go oh my gosh look at my hair don't I look beautiful I feel beautiful <laughs> so all I have to do is pop this right in and we're ready but you can see it doesn't come up over here it comes low so I didn't feel quite as closed in I still am not real happy about it coming this high but I feel like I can live with it so we're gonna give it a try for tonight and hopefully this is gonna work hopefully but I'll let you know bye so one thing I forgot to tell you is that um, she switched my machine from giving me full pressure, giving me 20 minutes to go to sleep, to giving me full pressure. Um, she reset that to 45 minutes. She said that since I, and this is something I didn't know, she said that since I have such a high pressure, my pressure is 22. Um, and that's one of the problems. I, she said it's not the mask so much as it's the pressure that I have coming into the mask. So, um, she said that what that did, what that's going to do is giving me 45 minutes to go to sleep. My brain is not just, it's giving my brain a little more time to figure out that that pressure is getting higher and higher and higher. So, um, hopefully that's going to help me with, um, adjusting with my brain, adjusting to the pressure going up. I'll have 45 minutes that I should be good to sleep so that when my pressure is full speed, I'll I'll be asleep enough that it won't wake me up so we'll see how that goes too yeah mm -hmm.